Hello, welcome. So this is a follow on from our last video where we made the forge, as you can see there. Um, essentially, this video will be about the tables in the uh, Tinkers mod, primarily the stencil table, pattern chest, part builder and tool station, which also then becomes the tool forge when you upgrade it. So for each of the tables, we'll go through them. Stencil table. You can see there are very different varieties. Uh, so the stencil table is simply oak wood planks with a blank pattern on top, which then creates a stencil table. Blank patterns are created from wood and then stick. In this variety, it gives you four. The pattern chest. Oops. Bleh. Pattern chest either it holds the stencils that you create later on so it's very handy to have it is simply a chest with a blank pattern on top this is the part builder which will be oak wood not turned into planks plus a pattern on top keeps you the part builder and finally is the tool oops the tool station which is a crafting station with a blank pattern on top. From there, you will have each individual table and chest. And from, usual stencil table should look like this, pattern chest, part builder, and then tool station. Doesn't matter which order you have them in, you might have it in a specific order due to just ease of access. So once you have your tables completed, start at your stencil table, put blank patterns into your stencil table, simply click the appropriate stencil to create the patterns. So we'll get one of those, get the tool rod, and I believe the small one. Small binding pattern, let's double check, which you can do here. Yes, so it's bang, bang, and bang. And it also tells you, luckily enough here, which components you will need from your stencil table. Once you have those, bring it to the part builder, which you can see is linked to your pattern chest. So you don't always need to hold these. They can be linked from the pattern chest into the pattern chest. Put your pattern there. I use cobble. I need more cobble. This. Oops. From there, create your stone pickaxe head. Swap that out to create your rod. Swap that out to create the binding. From there, we don't go here just yet. And there we go back here. And then we put those from our inventory onto the casting table and choose which um, material. Now, the purpose of this, you should create your castings because this is what we're doing here. We're creating a casting. Create your casting out of something simple like gold, which I don't have in here, so we'll be right back. Okay, now that our gold is in there, we'll put it at the bottom so we know it's going to come out first. And we create our casting. That's one. Two. And finally, three. Now that we have our castings, we can then choose what material to make our item out of. So for this instance, we'll make an obsidian head. Now you also have to make sure that you have enough material inside your forge. Because if you get stuck halfway, you have to get more of that material, put it in, then put it to the bottom, and then pour the rest out. So then we're going to make, we'll do bronze. So we'll take that, make the rod out of bronze. 
and we'll make the binding out of bronze as well. So, next we will do assembly. Simply one there, one there, one there, gives you your obsidian pickaxe. And it's as simple as that. We now have our obsidian pickaxe, which we can use for mining. It's a very nice efficiency. Now, on the upgraded tool station, which is called a tool forge, which we'll grab right now. And to make a tool forge, simply seared bricks, which you have from your uh, forge. Steel blocks, doesn't have to be electrical. Don't know why it says that, just steel blocks is fine. And your original tool station will give you a tool forge. So we'll put that there. So in the original, you have this many. In the new, you have a, a wider variety, including the hammer. Let's get rid of this down here so we can. Including the hammer, scythe, mattock, and many more. My personal favorite is the hammer. There you go. Thank you for watching the basics on the uh, Tinker's Construct tables. Hopefully this helps if any of you are stuck. If not, good luck.